align and lock views. Well, first off, we have to align them. So I added a cube to the scene here and put its world ordinance at 0, 0, 0, 0. So that's where I'm at right now. Now notice something about this cube in the fact that, well, it's solid and I can't see any of the other views. So I'm going to show you a trick. Down here below in the cube, in the object properties, I can choose wire. And now I can see through the box. But I like to be able to, well, be in both. I like to be able to have a solid box to look at every once in a while. And I also like to have, you know, the opposite. I want to see through it. So what I'm going to do here is show you a nifty little trick that I use. So what I'm doing is taking this timeline and making it so that it's very small. Just like that. So what I'm going to do is just scale it. Now if you hit the arrow keys, right left arrow keys, notice I can make this jump between. Okay. I'm going to go back to solid. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to say insert keyframe. And then I'm going to hit the arrow button over. So it jumps to the next frame. And this one, I'm going to go to wire, right click, insert keyframe. Okay, so let's see what happens when I use the arrow back and forth. I can switch now between solid and wireframe. Ooh, nifty trick, right? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is take this box and scale it down a little bit. Again, because I want to see through the box, I can just hit the arrow and I'm going to make this about the same size as the body. Just the body. And what I'm counting as the body is this point right here to this point right here. That's what I'm counting as the body. Good. Next, I'm going to go into top view. And uh-oh, in the top view, I cannot see the box. It's because it's too big. <laughs> Freaked you out, right? Okay. Okay, in this case, I'm scaling this in just a little bit and doing that. Notice that it touches here and it touches here just about. Also in the side view, it touches here and touches here. Well, here's how you get the top or the front view to line up. Let's switch back to solid. Go into edit mode. Hit control R. And I'm going to insert an edge loop here. And I'm going to control R and insert an edge loop here. Good. One on the keyboard gives me this. Well, I have two vectors lined up. To get my third vector lined up, I'm going to use this in between right here. So again, I'm going to switch over to um, the wireframe. There we go. That's the only bad thing about this workflow is the fact that you might get your keyframes. Like if I press over a couple more times, I can see my green. 
but if I press it over this way, all of a sudden it's gone. So I have to zoom out and I use the wheel mouse to kind of find it every once in a while. It would be nice to have a hotkey that takes and switches it over. Unfortunately, I have not found a hotkey that there or the command line to um, add that to the hotkey list. So if it's some blender expert out there uh, beyond the scope of my understanding of it knows the Python command and shares it within YouTube, that would be much appreciated. Other than that, I'm going to go with this because it's just easy for students. All right, now that we're in wireframe, I'm going to go into this view, touch it, and then I'm going to move it. W on the keyboard, and I'm moving this so the view actually is in line with the center of this box. Again, you can switch between. You can use edit mode to see that this is lining up right here and then lining up right here. Good. We have now aligned all three views based on this piece of geometry. And now I should be able to just jump into any of the other views. And they all line up correctly. Now make perfect sure of this because you know a lot of times it might seem that they are with correct. But now let's kind of go into this this mode. Let's think about here's the front, here is kind of the, the back end, and I'm judging the back end by these pieces right here. I'm toggling on vertices, and I'm going to move this right there. And I want to make it so I can highlight all the vertices. So there we go. This button right here allows you to limit the selection to all the way through. So if you see the vertices not being selected all the way through, you need that. Okay, so here's this compared to the front. Let's jump into the side view. Does it line up? Near about. And the reason for that is the fact that these orthos are just a skosh off. I can average this out just a little bit more by going right here. Okay. All right, all three views are now in place. I'm going to name these by going into the object properties and call this side, front, and top. Above, I have now front, side, and top. If I right click, I can say toggle selectable. I can also uncheck this. Okay, now can't select them, but can select this geometry right here. All right, we are on our way. So this is locking and aligning. Two. Let's move on to the next video where we can start kind of looking at this as a modeling workflow.